Okay, so I wanted to do a video on cleaning the, the nib and the feed. How exactly I do it. The nib is already a little bit cleaner just from soaking it in water, so that just shows me that it was probably just dried, dried up ink and that's why it looks dirty. But I just want to kind of go through the method that I use. I, um, these feeds can be so, so, you know, hard to get out, so you have to use a knockout block. And for the longest time I didn't know how to make one or what that was, but let me just show you. It's very simple. So you can get one of these things. Now, let me just say this, that this isn't the um, proper way of doing it. This is just my version. A lot of people have different versions on how to restore their pens. Like, I'm not really selling this one. I use a Phillips, or not Phillips, an Allen screw um, holder. And I put it on top of there and I find the hole where it fits. There it is, the second one. And then I um, find a, honestly a drill bit, I use the back of a drill bit, that's the same diameter, and I, um, I use a hammer. I use a hammer and I hammer it out. It's very simple, I'm not gonna do it on camera because I don't want it to be too loud. But eventually it comes out pretty nicely, and then you'll have the nib just alone by itself. And I do certain things to the feed, and uh, there's this secret little thing you can use that works wonders, and I'll show you that um, just in a second. Okay. Okay, so I just got the nib and feed out, and it honestly was absolutely, it was so much easier for some reason with this pen than it was with the other ones. This one, this one came out with like two hits, and it came out and very gentle. I used very gentle hits, and it came out easily. Um, I'm gonna let this soak a little bit, it's kinda dirty. I'm gonna show you how to clean all that out. I'm just letting it soak in, um, just some water, not the soap there, put, the, put it over here. Kind of give a nice reflection. So here's the nib. There's the back of the nib, the front of the nib. It's a beautiful nib. I'm checking to see if there's any cracks. Doesn't look like there's any cracks. We'll definitely tell after we're done. Most of this just residue. Okay, it's a heart shaped nib. Beautiful, beautiful. This, this nib's gonna look gorgeous when we're done with it. I'm gonna show you a couple things you can do. And the feed here, very, very dirty feed. I want this to be flowing nicely. I'm going to throw this in there as well. I'll let that sit. i show you something that you can use that is single-handedly the best solution for cleaning out ink out of the feed, out of the pen, everything. I use it for everything, and that is toothpaste. Toothpaste and a bristle like this. I learned this from... Oh, man, I gotta, I'm gonna link them in the description. I can't remember their name. It starts with a G, I think. I don't want to say it's Grandma Pens, but it's something like that. And he does wonderful videos on restoration. And these are just like, once you restore pens, you kind of find your own little way of doing it. So I'm just gonna dip it in some water. And you want to use toothpaste that does have more of a, I don't know how to say, like, uh, what's it called? It's not like lotion. This kind of looks like it's like lotion. This might not be the most effective tooth. Oh no, it's okay. You kind of want it to have that, the grittiness to it, the toothpaste. So, okay, we're getting rid of all of that mess. And this is a very, very effective, quick way of getting rid of just junk and stuff like that. You can only do this once, so. And a lot of my methods are just methods I came by learning from trial and error. I mean, I, I wrecked a ton of pens. I've, I've just completely wrecked them. And I, I learned from them. So that's kind of how I know all these little tricks from other people and honestly mainly from just destroying pens. I've destroyed quite a, quite a lot. And I learned these methods from people and I remember I bought this one pen that was like, you know, it was kind of an expensive one. <laughs> And I didn't have the right pliers uh, to take out the, the section. I didn't have section pliers, which are these here. 
I didn't have these. And if you don't, if you want to get into serious, if you want to be serious about restoration, you, you have to have these. If you don't have these, you're uh, you're going to use normal pliers and you're probably going to break a pen. Because I did that. So here, we're just going to show you just just from off the off the start of um, get some of this the toothpaste off my hands. That's just from toothpaste. Just from toothpaste. That's not even doing anything else with the with the. Um, polishing it or anything like that, and that's just toothpaste. Oh, it's even got a date probably on there. Just toothpaste. And it looks like it's brand new again. I'm not even done with it. After this, I'm going to grab some um, 800 grit. Or, or 8,000 grit. And I'm going to dip this into the water. I'm gonna gently scrub this out. This just helps with minor scratches that are there that would be difficult to get out that the toothpaste just wouldn't be able to get out. And then we'll use the I always get those confused, man. 12,000 grit. Make sure this nib, because the nib, you know, you don't want it to be dirty. It won't flow right. So you can get this super cleaned. Very important to get this clean. Get a nice flowing nib. So that's just with the a little bit more shiny. But I want a little bit more now. Yet. Now we gotta use shimmy chrome. And this is my ending for everything I use on my pen. Absolutely everything. Shimmy chrome. Oh, that might have been too much, but whatever. It's hard to get foam out of this. So cover up the back, the front, and I just work it around the hands. done just yet. Now we're just going to wipe it see it just kind of looks matte. And we'll see if I'm satisfied with this then we leave it. If I'm not, I'm not. We'll keep going. Oops, sorry. But I will say this looks pretty satisfying to me. Let me see the back of it. Oh yeah. You know, 4330915. Just stunning. And that's how I clean my, my nibs. Clean them all this way. And I do the same thing when it comes to um, the feed here. The feed definitely needs cleaning. I'm gonna clean the feed as well. One, two, three, seven, nine. And you'd be surprised by the gump that comes out of here. Look at all that blue. nice and clean now and then so just from what we saw from the start it was pretty bad and now it's very clean it's gonna flow properly as it should and here I'm gonna shine this up as well I'm not done with here I want this to this bottom to be glossy as well so I'm gonna show the pen now with it being completely finished <laughs> 